Breaking at this hour for the first time since the grand jury's decision, police using chemical irritants to disperse protesters in Akron. The scene playing out just before 8 this evening on East Avenue near Copley Road. Officers using what looks like mace and smoke canisters to clear the street. The city of Akron describing this as a quote unlawful assembly. We have requested body cam footage from Akron PD to figure out what led up to this response. Thanks for joining us for the news at 11. I'm Chris Fry. This is now the third night of protest after a grand jury's decision to not indict the officers who shot and killed Jalen Walker. Let's get to Michelle Nix right now. She's live in Akron and Michelle, you've been uh, talking to police and the Walker family about tonight's clash with protesters. What did both parties have to say? Good evening, Chris. I did just talk to Akron police who tell me that officers did disperse chemical irritants when they allege that some of the protesters threw rocks and bottles. Now, a family member for Jalen Walker says they were simply marching with children in the group when those chemical irritants were dispersed by police. And just a few minutes ago here on Market Street, we were nearly surrounded by about eight Akron police cars and sheriff's deputies all in their riot gear and they headed down Market Street. We're not sure exactly what was going on, but take a look at protesters going the distance earlier. I stand for Akron and I stand for justice for Akron and I stand for justice for Jalen. Say his name, Jalen Walker. Power to the people. Standing united at Hawkins Plaza, taking one step at a time, about 100 people marched to call for change, transparency, and accountability from Akron police. Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! Some family members of Jalen Walker, along with supporters, took to the streets in Akron to protest for the third straight day, standing together as one voice. Don't arrest me! Arrest the police! Don't arrest me! His name was smeared. I felt like they smeared, smeared his name, trying to make this person a, a suicide by cop and, and, and everything else. Demetrius Travis Sr. and Alexis Walker love their cousin Jalen Walker and tell me they're fighting to keep his name alive as well as the circumstances surrounding his death at the hands of Akron police after an attempted traffic stop turned into a police pursuit and a fatal shooting. We figured, why don't we take the charge of these protests uh, so that it's not chaotic, it's being led by the right uh, message. The group gathered to protest blocked the intersection of South Copley and Hawkins at one point, a move to make sure their voices couldn't be ignored. After a special grand jury decided not to charge the eight officers accused of shooting and killing Walker back on June 27th, after they say he fired a shot from his car at police. I mean, we kind of knew what was coming by the way the city was shutting down. It's difficult. It's just like reliving it all, all over again. No justice! Now, despite the fact that Akron police did use chemical irritants earlier to try and disperse the crowd, we are not aware of any arrest at this time. But as I told you, about eight cruisers, lights and sirens, there were Akron police and sheriff's deputies, all with helmets on, all with riot gear. They flew down Market Street, so we are trying to effort more information and find out exactly what's going on tonight. Reporting live in Akron, Michelle Nix, 19 News.